Good morning, students. Welcome back. Yesterday we started reading the chapter Unit Three, Section B, the stolen bacillus. Bacillus are the bacteria. Here in the chapter we read yesterday that there is a bacteriologist and a visitor had come to his laboratory. He is showing him the the active uh, bacteria of cholera, which can spread cholera in the city in the test tube and. Uh, the visitor is very much interested in in that test tube he uh, he is uh, very much uh, he his eyes started shining when he sees that test tube and uh, he says that the anarchist should use such a thing to spread uh, destruction to bring destruction instead of bombs and the guns and uh, then there was a gentle tap on the door and a bacteriologist wife had come to meet him to talk to him for a second and when uh, the bacteriologist the scientist comes back to the lab the visitor uh, starts to uh, leave he says that he uh, he has an engagement at four o'clock so he starts leaving the lab now let's continue with the reading he passed out of the room repeating his thanks and the bacteriologist accompanied him to the door and then returned thoughtfully along the passage to his lab laboratory how he gloated on gloated on means looked at them with satisfaction on those cultivations of ger disease germs a disturbing thought struck him he turned to the bench by the vapor bath bath and then very quickly to his writing table then he left hastily felt hastily in his pockets then rushed to door i may have put it down on the hall table he said now as soon as the visitor left and the as the scientist was coming back uh, in his lab he thought to himself that uh, he was happy that uh, he had shown him his experiments but as he was thinking uh, this thing he started uh, he remembered something and he started searching uh, ev uh, for that thing in his lab he searched his writing table he searched his work table then he 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 felt uh, he looked into his pockets then he said then i might have left it in the hall when i went to talk to my wife so he went out meaning he shouted hoarsely in the hall hoarsely means loudly yes dear came a distant voice distance means far away voice that uh, his wife was somewhere in inside the house so from there she answered yes dear had i anything in my hand when i spoke to you dear just now pause nothing dear because i remember blue ruin now cried the bacteriologist oh my god blue ruin means oh my god oh heaven and immediately ran on to the front door and down the steps of his house to the street now he went down he just he got the idea what had happened so he he did not wait for anything he just started running out of his house mini hearing the door slam slam means shut violently ran in alarm to the window down the street a, a slender man was getting into a cab slender means thin the bacteriologist hatless and in, in his carpet slippers carpet slippers means home slippers was running and gesticulating gesticulating means making gestures with his hands making uh, movements of his hand to stop that man wildly towards this group one slipper came off and as he was running his one of his slippers came off it was removed but he did not wait for it he has gone mad said mini it's that horrid signs of his horrid horrid means horrible signs of his the slender man pointedly pointed hastily to the bacteriologist and said something to the cabman the apron apron means door of the cab slammed slammed means shut and the whip swished whip uh, the the stick with which uh, the horse uh, the horseman uses to uh, to beat the horse 
Swished means moved. The horse's feet clattered. Clattered means again moved, made sound. And in the movement of the cab with the bacteriologist hotly in pursuit. Pursuit means running after. Had receded up. Receded up means moved away the vista of the roadway and disappeared round the corner. So, the, the, the pale faced man, the visitor uh, of the scientist did not stop even though he had seen him coming, running after him. Minnie hastily put her bonnet, bonnet means cap, the female cap, on, seized his shoes, seized means took his shoes, went into the hall and took down his hat and light overcoat from the pegs. Pegs are the hangers on which the coats are hanged. Emerged upon the doorstep. Emerged means came on the doorstep and hailed a cab. Hailed means called. Pulled a cab that luckily Crawled by. Crawled by means moved by. Drive me up the road round Havelock Crescent and see if we can find a gentleman running about uh, in a velveteen uh, coat and no hat. The man in the foremost cab. Foremost cab means first cab. Sat is crouched in the corner. Crouched means uh, bundled up. Bending, his arms tightly folded and the little tube that contained such vast possibilities of destruction gripped in his hand. He had only to make sure of the water supply and one break of the little tube in the reservoir, reservoir is the water tank. How brilliantly he had planned it, forged the letter of introduction Forged means cheated the letter of introduction and got into the laboratory. And how brilliantly he has seized the, his opportunity. Seized means took advantage of the opportunity. He craned out of the cab. Craned out means looked out. Put his neck out of the cab. The bacteriologist was scarcely 50 yards behind. He was 50 yards behind. This was bad. He would be caught and stopped yet so he thought that if the scientist had caught him now he will be he would be sent to jail the cab swayed swayed means since the cab was moving very fast so it was moving in a zigzag manner and the anarchist half standing under the trap put the hand containing the little glass tube upon the apron to preserve his balance to preserve means save his balance he felt the brittle thing. Brittle means hard thing, crack. Now the glass of the uh, test tube broke. Crack means broke. And the broken half of it rang upon the floor of the cab. And the broken half, it broke, uh, the, the glass tube broke and it went down. And it went down on the cab floor. He fell back into the seat with a curse and stared dismally, dismally means sadly at the two or three drops of moisture on the apron. And the, the bacillus also, the bacteria, the, the cholera bacteria had also fallen on the door of the cab. He shuddered. Well, I suppose I shall be the first. I shall be the first means I shall be the first to die of cholera. A little drop was still in the broken end of the tube and he drank that to make sure it was better to make sure. So he drank that, that to make sure that he definitely gets cholera. And then it dawned upon him, dawned means came upon him that there was no further need to escape the bacteriologist. Now it came to him. Now, now he realized that it was there was no need of him to running away from the bacteriologist. In the Wellington Street, he told the cabman to stop and got down. He stood on the pavement with his arms folded upon his breast, awaiting his arrival of the bacteriologist. So now he had uh, no, uh, so he 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 
realized that there was no need of him to running away because now he had drunk the cholera bacteria he will die of cholera definitely so even if he is not ca caught he will definitely die of cholera so what is the need of running away so better get caught and then die in the jail so that he can spread cholera to as many people as he can why we were anarchy we were anarchy means long live anarchy you are too late my friend i have drunk it the cholera is broad broad means now cholera will spread the bacteriologist from his cab beamed curiously beam means uh, smiled strangely at him through his spectacles you have drunk it anarchist i see now now he understood that he was an anarchist so you have drunk it he was about to say something more and then checked himself check means stopped himself now in the in this picture also you can see that there is a test tube in this anarchist sand and the scientist was running behind his cab to stop him a smile hung in the corner of his mouth he opened the apron of his cab as if to descend descend means come down at which the anarchist waved him a dramatic farewell and strode off strode off means uh, walked away towards waterloo bridge carefully jostling jostling means pushing his infected body against as many people as possible so now he uh, he started pushing his body so that he can infect other people also bacteriologist was so preoccupied with his vision of him that he scarcely showed slightest surprise at the appearance of mini upon the pavement with his hat and shoes and overcoat that he did not notice his wife had come and he was she was giving him his shoes hat and the overcoat he was so much uh, preoccupied he was so busy watching that uh, anarchist very good of you to bring my things he said and remained lost in contemplation contemplation means thinking of the receding receding means reducing going away figure of the anarchist the anarchist who was going away from him he was he kept on watching him you had better get in he said still staring put on my shoes put on my shoes certainly dear said he yes that i must put on my shoes and you must uh, get into the cab you see that man came to see uh, came to my house to see me he is an anarchist no don't faint or i cannot possibly tell you the rest so he uh, the scientist started telling his wife that the person who came to see me in the house today in evening was an anarchist and he told mini was about to faint uh, listening to this hearing this he was she was about to faint so uh, the the scientist said don't faint don't faint or i will not be able to tell you rest of the story as i wanted to astonish him astonish means surprise him not knowing he was in an arcus and took up a cultivation of that new species of bacterium i was telling you of that infest and i think the cause of blue patches upon various monkeys and like a fool i said it was asiatic cholera and he ran away with it to poison the water of london and he certainly might have made things blue, look blue for this civilized city and now he has swallowed it of course i cannot say what will happen but you know it turned that kitten blue and the three puppies in patches and the sparrow bright blue so but the bother is bother means trouble is i shall have all the trouble and the expense of preparing some more so see here it was not at all the cholera bacteria it was a bacteria which he was cultivating which he was producing in his lab which uh, turned uh, the which affected the birds and the animals and turned their bodies put blue patches on their bodies it turned the monkey blue it 
it brought blue patches on on the sparrow it turned uh, it, it had uh, it gave blue patches to the puppies and the sparrow blue so it was it was the bacteria which was which had it, it its effect on the animals and the birds so it did not it might not affect the human beings at all so that anarchist drank uh, the wrong bacteria wrong <laughs> bacillus thinking that he had drunk cholera bacillus so the only trouble now the bacteriologist will have is that he had to prepare these bacillus these uh, these blue patching um, patches uh, patch bacillus all over again so that's all in this chapter i hope you have understood the chapter go through it read it carefully and if you have any difficulty call me or message me thank you very much have a nice day